Okay guys, I told you that um, I would tell you what I did while I was cooking dinner right now. And so I thought that'd be kind of funny. All right, so I stopped by the Kroger store. First I had to go, I went to Walgreens real quick and I picked out, where's my Walgreens bag? I'll show you my haul. My whole haul for Walgreens is like one thing. And now I think it's on the floor. Wait, hold on. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Now, you guys can tell me which one I should put on my fingers. And actually, I think I'm going to put both of them on and kind of mix. Ariel Hope, I was reading her blog, and she gave me the inspiration to try these. Once again, I got a few different designs. Move over, please. I got some people here that are excited about this. Okay, this is my haul. That's my Walgreens haul. Okay, now let's see. My haul at Kroger. Move over, please. I got... Oh my goodness, Jello Buds have been like taken over by storm because I can only find a few flavors. I only wanted a few anyways, but seriously, there used to be like 50 bags available and now there were like five. So I got some Jello Bites and my favorite broccoli, some, um, I'm out of milk from Costco, so I had to get one from Kroger, which is more expensive, but that's okay. And then I got some of our favorite vanilla ice cream. What's that? Oh, that was one of the nails. Okay, and then I got some, this is my Kroger haul, so this is so exciting. Okay, gluten-free yellow cake mix. This is exciting, because this was only $3 today, and that's like way cool. And I got a chocolate one too, so. Um, camera girl will be very happy about that. Okay, now I told you all we were going to be making this yummy pepperoni lasagna. And we are. I'm just trying to squish this milk in here and I'm going to have to maneuver things around. Now, first thing I did is I am browning a pound of meat right now. It's organic and it's uh, Amy's, um, Organic, I don't know. I think it's available all over the country. I don't know. But, um, anyways, if you want, if you don't have to use any meat, if you don't want to, it's up to you. Um, if you guys are like vegetarians, then I guess pepperoni isn't really going to work for you either. But I guess you can do what, what is that? Soy pepperoni or whatever it is. I don't know. It's like pepperoni that's made out of soy. So I don't even know what they call that. It's like meatless pepperoni. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to use this kind of pepperoni. And my whole family loves it. It's the um, turkey pepperoni, which is like, it's healthy for you. It's really healthy for you. And I'm going to show you a trick of what I'm going to do with these. But the first thing I need to do fast, fast and furious before I put the frozen stuff away. So I got to get this bread in the oven. Now, do you guys, I got to take a consensus. Do you guys just want it like plain French bread or do you want me to make like something in it? What, you want me to do like Nutella? Seriously, in the French bread? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll do that. We're going to try this. This is like a first. We're gonna try. What are you? Are you filming just the bread, or what are you filming? I have no idea, like what what these people film when they're doing that. So, anyways, I got the bread. It's kind of. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like this, but it is right now. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on here. I think it's supposed to be like a little bit shorter. And okay, I gotta let me like smush up the meat. Why does this always happen when I'm on camera? Like, I cannot find... Okay, let me just show them what I found. And get away from the meat. I found this in my drawer to cook with. Okay, I don't think so. I think this goes to somebody else's kitchen, but not mine. I think that goes down to our kids' kitchen downstairs. They have their own little kitchen to play with. Now, I cannot find anything. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use this. This is what I'm going to use to chop the meat up with because I can't find a spatula right now. I think it's what we use to, um, I think it's used for, like, carving the, um, pumpkins or something like that around Halloween time. And I'm going to put, like, a little bit of cooking spray down. For some reason, this is, like, 
stiffen. I don't know why, but it is. I must turn it down. Oh, it's a little bit hot. Okay, so while that's going, we are going to put, I've already got my um, broccoli steaming. It's going good. Okay, I'm going to take part of this, and I'm going to put Nutella in some. I have an idea. I'm going to do cheese bread in one, Nutella in the other, and the other one is going to be plain. Now, I guess I'm not going to tell you about what I did today during dinner because um, I'm going to give you a rest from having to listen to me. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to get another frying pan going. It's not going to be this one. And I'm going to take my pepperonis. I'm going to cook them up because that's the secret behind my pepperoni lasagna that makes it better than anything in this world. So, I will see you in... A moment though. Click it. <laughs> okay guys, now I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the sauce. I'm going to start putting everything together for our lasagna. And I just remembered I got to get some cheese out of the refrigerator. But, dance moms, here is what my glitter looks like after wearing it all day long. On my eyes, I don't know if, you, if it focuses. This is what the pink, and I know that you wanted jade green, but this is kind of like what I had. But again, I told you I could get the jade green. But anyways, let me, I gotta tell you something funny that just happened at Kroger. It was so funny. I was leaving. Well, first of all, okay, I've got a couple things to say. Before I even talk about my funny story at Kroger, I've got a question for everybody. This is interactive now. This is very interactive. Okay, I'm going to show you here in a second what kind of cheese I'm going to have. Oh, oh goodness gracious. The cat fell. Story of my life. Yes, I'm using jarred sauce and I don't want my hair to get in it. So hold on. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, yay, my hair didn't get in it. Okay, good. We're all happy now. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, come on. Anyways, here, here's what happened when I was at Kroger. And I'm just wondering if this is human nature or if this is what people actually do. Okay, first I'm pouring sauce in here. Oh, goodness, it's flattering, isn't it? Okay, turn that down a little bit. Okay, um, I'm going to lay some of the sauce out because you'll see why in a second. Okay, um, if this is human nature, I don't know. But here's what happened at Kroger. I, I wanted to go in and run in and run out real quick, okay? And this one just happens to have a Starbucks, and there's this really sweet girl named Catherine. She's so cool. Right when I walk in, she starts making my Starbucks, and on the way out, I just pick it up and run. Okay, well, here's what happened. I got the little basket instead of a cart, and you know I'm claw girl right now, so I don't have very good dexterity in my right hand. I'm mixing this up, by the way, the sauce and the meat. It, it looks like meat sauce now instead of marinara. Okay, so um, I, was, I, I went along, and I went through the store, and I got more items than I thought I was going to get like everybody always does, and then... I'm carrying it and I'm looking like this. Like I'm been walking all like this and everything. I mean, everything is about ready to fall out. I kid you not, there was at least seven or eight people. Instead of coming up and saying, can I help you? They're like watching me to see if I could make the dog and pony show happen. I don't know. But I'm just wondering, human nature, would you help or would you watch? That's the question of the day. Comment below. I'm dying to see what everyone said. Hey, and be honest, okay? All right, let's put this lasagna together. First thing I'm going to do is I'm taking this cute little pan, like a little loaf dish right here that you bake like a cake or not cake, bread, bread in there or meatloaf, whatever. Okay, I cooked up my pepperonis. That brings out major flavor. I got my meat sauce with my... Um, Tomato sauce going on over here. We cooked our vegetables, so we're all good to go. Let's build this up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remainder of the sauce. I'm pouring it in the bottom here because what that's going to do 
You're going to be amazed at how fast this is. It's super fast. Okay. I'm going to build layers. This is the um, no boil lasagna noodles. These things are the mommy's best friend. Real housewife tip right here. Yes, best friend. And if it's beautifully on the bottom, key tip here, you must have moisture to cook these noodles. That's about it. Okay, I'm going to make layers. And I'm going to layer it with um, this cheese right here, obviously, and my meat sauce and my pepperonis. Now, get this. Here's the deal. Everything is low calorie and low fat. You won't believe how big the serving is and how yummy it is, and you guys are going to love it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to stack it, and then I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to show you um, what it looks like after I take it out of the oven. It's good. literally, I am just going to layer. I'm going to put some cheese right here. Like, look at how much I put in. I just want you to see. You don't need that much because we're going to use some Parmigiano Reggiano. And that will give you a ton of flavor. And some of these pepperonis, just do like a couple of them. And you know what? It, they don't, they may look like they burned, but they didn't. They're perfect. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead. And this, our little pumpkin guy actually worked out pretty well now, didn't he? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. And then I'm going to layer this again. If I don't drop it. Just like that. And I'm going to keep going and I'm going to stick it in the oven. And we are going to have pepperoni lasagna in just a few minutes. Zap it off. All right, I am taking this out of the oven. Now I got my little bread out. Look at how cute those are. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was just like that Pillsbury bread. I oh, thank you. So I got one with cheese, one with that, and one with Nutella in it. Okay, that popped up. That's fine. Okay, and I'm going to take my little pepperoni lasagna out, and it is bubbling like a madman, just like it should be. And I am going to make some of this real quick for my little Bailey Boo. And I'm going to put some of this in here. And I'm going to plate up a few portions of this really quick. And, let me see here, actually, that's what it looks like, guys. It looks exactly like that, and I'm going to stick some on a plate so you can see exactly what, we had this problem earlier, trying to find a spatula, and that is why I ended up using that pumpkin thing. Okay, now again, I'm looking for, okay, we'll use this one. I don't know how things get keep getting twisted around here. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a plate so I can just show it to you. It's going to be kind of messy and oozy from cheese. We like cheese and ooze and yums and all kinds of stuff. Ow. Hot. Very hot. Okay. Now, here we go. I want to show you, like, what one serving when I made this for a client, like, what I would give for like an I'll say an adult woman like you know a normal adult woman that um you know works out let's just say that works out like an hour a day or something like that I'd say that's like a portion and we'd go ahead and put some if you want some parmesan cheese or whatever on it this would be like the portion and give like a half of one of these of bread and some broccoli and this, I'm not exaggerating, guys. This, with all that, with the bread, the lasagna, and the broccoli and stuff, is a total of about, I'm going to guesstimate, 350 calories. I know for a fact the pepperoni lasagna itself, made with all the organic ingredients that we made, plus with the turkey pepperoni, which is such a reduction in fat from regular pepperoni. It gives you such great flavor. The 96% fat-free meat, amazing. And um, the little amounts of cheese that we use gives the greatest amount of flavor with the sauce and the noodles. So this alone right here is about 250 to 275. 
just wanted to show you your vegetables. We don't even count them. They are amazing. We love broccoli. It burns fat just by eating it. Who knew? Okay, everybody. Got yummy bread going on. We got a good dinner going on. So I am going to go eat with my family. And I will see you later, everybody. I hope you enjoy this recipe. And you always know what to say. Have a what, everybody? Bombshell Day! Happy